Welcome back guys. So 34% of all residential sales for the month of February nationwide were cash. Seeing a lot of articles in the media about that. I expect that that might actually be higher for March based on what we're seeing here in Southwest Florida, though across the state, which I'll get into, and other cities, I'm not seeing the strong cash purchases. Uh, very interesting. But something to note, that is a percentage of all the purchases. So you have to consider that sales are down, mortgages are down quite a bit. Applications are rough right now. So the percentage that cash takes up is going to increase. That doesn't necessarily mean there's more cash buyers. It doesn't necessarily mean there's more cash purchases, though in some areas that is true. It just means they're eating up a larger portion of a shrinking pool of closed sales. Now, as you guys know, here in Charlotte County last month, had a killer sales month, 41% of our single family homes were bought cash, which sounds astronomical. It kind of is, I'll be honest, it's, it's pretty high for here, but then take a little trip up north to Venice, 55% guys, 55% of all closings were cash in Venice. The city of Sarasota, 45%. And that's actually lower than it was last year. It was 50% in Sarasota last March. So this is the time you're going to see those kind of fluctuations. Interestingly enough, if you take a look at the city of Tampa, their cash sales were only 25% of all their closed homes. Jumping up to Orlando, only 21%. And then when we come down to where I am today, the city of Northport, well, only 18%, guys. That was shocking for me to see. Last year, it was 29% of all single family homes sold. March of 2023 in Northport were cash. This year it was only 18. Why that surprises me so much is all the news focuses on and has focused on in the previous couple of years was Northport was one of the fastest growing cities in the country. It was the number one small city for growth in the country as a, a video I went over with recently stated. So where is the cash infusion. Where are all the cash investors, at least on the residential side? I mean, commercial doesn't seem to be doing that much better as well, unless you guys, unless everybody's getting pumped about another car wash, which they're loading up down here, or a storage facility, which seem to be popping up everywhere. So why are the cash sales so low? Is everybody investing with leverage? Have the cash investors pulled out? As you guys know, from a rental standpoint, Northport basically has never had this many rentals listed. So that could be a reason as well. If going back 10 years, this is the highest amount of rentals Northport has ever had on the market. So that might be one of the reasons I'd be interested to see what you guys think, why you think cash sales are so low here. Maybe because it's the city of Northport and we have the city of Tampa, the city of Orlando. Is it a city thing? I don't know. But people are still doing a lot of cash deals in Venice, as I mentioned. So it seems strange to me because Northport borders Venice. Uh, there may be a land dispute on where that border lands over Welland Park eventually one day. But right now, Welland Park is in Northport. I know where it is, guys. Don't get mad. People get very charged up about <laughs> calling it Northport. They do try to call it Venice. Um, we'll see where that goes. I don't think it's going to change. But I will clarify, uh, you know, it's Northport. Now, 34% of sales being cash does not shock me generally here. In the state of Florida, we average about 30% of our single family homes are purchased in cash. Anyway, condos that can be anywhere from 50 to 70% some months. So always going to be higher cash closings on the condos. And that leads people to ask me, okay, well, what are the other financing tools? People get worried that, you know, we're seeing too many low down payment programs. We're seeing too many no down payment programs. And while those have risen quite a bit, it's not as drastic as you guys may think. So FHA uh, VA was very hard to get through for a while during the bidding frenzy here. Obviously you guys know you're going up against cash and really strong conventional offers. So FHA statewide is taking up about 15% of our closings. VA is about seven. So 22% and then you have about 30 cash and the other roughly 50% are conventional financing. Now 15% FHA, may sound like a high number to you guys, but I will say it's all time high was again in 2011, 30% of our closings were FHA. So Charlotte County doing exceptionally well, March, 2024 for cash sales, uh, probably what drove most of our sales surge there. 
as you guys know, we had a very high velocity sales month numbers wise for single family homes. Prices actually went down in some areas though, even though we sold more homes. And it looks like we put 419 homes under contract in Charlotte County for the month of March, but we listed 807 of them. So you guys can see that that inventory, the supply of inventory is going to go down, but we're still almost doubling up on listing compared to what we're putting under contract. And as you guys know from other stats, things I've put up in the community page, we can expect about 25 to 35% of those contracts to fall through any given month. So going to have to see what closes in April. Preliminarily, I think we're going to have an average April. I was starting off to think we were going to have a pretty strong April, April but I think it's going to be average. I don't think it's going to be, I don't think it's going to top March, but I was wrong in March. I thought March, I thought March would be different. So we'll have to see how it shakes out. Townhomes and condos also on a rampage in Charlotte County. Sales up 40% compared to the previous three months, which is baffling to me. And I guess, you know, inventory is still up 127% from the previous year. So also not pulling up, you know, not pulling off what we need to with the velocity we need to. But they did pull about 28% of that month's supply of inventory off just in one month. So we'll see if that continues strong. Uh, I don't know. It's still listing serious amounts of condos, still seeing serious price drops. One condo complex that I may take a walk through, very familiar with. During the boom, I'd say you were lucky to see three condos listed in there at any given time. And they went right away. And right now they have like 17. <laughs> so it's, I just see more and more get added every day. Uh, strange at this point in the season for them to come on. I would have thought the boost would have been earlier for condos, but still listing a lot of condos here. As far as new builds go, I think you guys know the deal down here, but this will probably surprise you. It surprised a lot of my colleagues. Didn't It surprised me a little bit, I'll be honest with you. I have a customer who is basically looking from Northport to Punta Gorda. They want a house that's no, no older than three years old, would like to get a three bedroom, two bath, two car garage, under 350. And my colleagues felt like that was impossible. Well, I sent them 96 listings the other day. 96, I had to apologize for how many I sent because I couldn't believe how many came back. I mean, it even shocked me, but yeah. 96 listings built within the last three years under $350,000 from Northport to Punta Gorda. Something to consider there, guys, too, is these are selling and trading under what they were built for. So some of these were built for 360, 370, 350, and now they are trading in the 320, 330 range. A lot of them, unfortunately, you can see on Zillow too, the rental history. These things were purchased as investments. And as you guys know, $350,000 house is not going to rent for three grand a month. And that's what unfortunately a lot of these people learn. So they're cutting their losses or they did it for a year and the experience was so horrible that they don't want to be landlords anymore and they're just letting it go. What you'll see behind me, that is South Sumter Boulevard back there. One of our major thoroughfares here in Northport. And I kid you not, I am down on Sesame Street today. <laughs> and as I walk and mention that, kind of kind of weird here. We've got a uh, two houses plus workshop. So be interested to look up this property. I'm assuming this is one of the houses. And then, where's, oh, a little door right there. Okay, so you got your second house and your workshop. Huh, I wonder what they want for this. All right, guys, so I pulled it up. But bummer, it's it's off market. It looks like they withdrew the listing, but they were, what were they asking? It was last sold for 485 in 2022. Uh, price history, where did this bad boy end up? Oh, so they were asking six seventy-five. Uh, two houses in a workshop, two thirty-four square foot. They started at six ninety-five. Uh, looks like they had tried to rent one of the properties for twenty-five seventy-five as well. There, uh, even that seeing price drops because it was originally twenty-nine. Actually, it was originally thirty-three. Guys, these are the rent declines I'm showing and I'm talking about here too. Look in Northport. You would have got thirty-three hundred two years ago. Now they couldn't even get twenty-five. 
Uh, last sold in 2022 for 485. So hmm. looks like they gave it up. They had it listed since December. That seems pretty quick to take it off the market. Let's see what we got here. 675, two houses with a workshop. Okay, outside looks perfectly serviceable. Mm, inside's a little dated. What's going on with the walls here, guys? That's a lot. It's a lot of patchwork. Yeah, it's dated inside. Okay. Wow. <laughs> hey, that's a lot of wood. I don't know if I like that or I hate that with the metal in there. That's uh what do you guys think? What do you guys think about this whole setup? Let me know in the comments. That is a lot of wood. That's strange to do all that to the kitchen and I guess leave the floors. Uh what was this? Some kind of Airbnb scenario? Man, a lot of touch up work on the walls. Maybe they did get it rented. This see, this is the kind of stuff you see when places have been lived in hard uh basically for, by tenants and a lot of turnover you know the rug obviously roll out windows yeah 675 uh the what okay okay that is an interesting patio it's, it's like a pool belongs here but it's not here no cage either yeah definitely this this thing needs a pool at 675 okay so that's the back that's and they got a coos. They got a little coos there. You can see the back of the house there. Um, they don't take you in the second house, unfortunately. And then you have your workshop garage here. Uh, oh, no, here we go. Here we go. Okay, a little drop ceiling. Yikes. Man, this thing is beat up. Yeah, I can see I can see the issue here. All right, okay. A lot of, a lot of interesting design choices in here. So what I'm betting is they were probably trying to rent this guest house for 3300 3, a month. And that's just obviously, as you guys can see, not going to happen. Uh, but that is kind of cool. Can we see the workshop? Can I see the workshop? No, no workshop. Okay, guys. Yeah, my opinion for this, awesome piece of property. Very unique, very cool. Probably needed to be around 550 maybe less, in my opinion. New construction nationwide as a whole has kind of leveled out back to where it was historically over the past 50 years. We had such a drought after 08 and the 2010s. Nobody was building. We're kind of back to baseline, but we still got a long way to go. But you guys can see how obviously the Sun Belt is getting more builds, more homes coming online. You can see how that's affecting our prices already. So it's interesting. I'm watching builders advertise on television, show new communities, getting a lot of ads for that kind of stuff, which I really haven't seen in quite some time and they're building all the apartment complexes which is causing all the rental market issues for landlords that i've been mentioning and squatters as well from from what i'm hearing but northport and charlotte county have not seen rental inventory levels i don't know if if ever i can only go back 10 years we're double anything the amount of houses for rent around here is double anything i could find for the previous 10 years Lee County looks absolutely insane as well. They're sitting at about 2,900 rentals currently, and they were at 27 in the fall. Charlotte and Northport, basically the same thing. We have not got rid of any of this rental inventory, and now the new apartment complexes are having, they're doing stuff I never thought I'd see before. Never mind the incentives they're trying. One of the new ones around here actually just switched to short-term rentals. They're offering, I saw it this morning, they're offering three-month short-term rentals at their apartment complexes. And I got to be thinking, like, what are, what's going through their head? Are these furnished? Are these not? They didn't look furnished to me. But they cannot get these things rented annually for the prices that they're asking. And now that's to, to make their bills, to make their nut, that's what they're switching into gear. And I don't know how long that's going to be sustainable. That's what I got for today, guys. If you like this video, give me a like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time.